Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Jacqueline Dorsey of Ling Frontiers and I'll serve as your host today. I'm excited to bring to you today a short webinar facilitated by Wayne Walton, an ABEX CRM practice lead. ABEX is a specialist in total Microsoft business solutions, designing and delivering lean and agile solutions globally for customers in manufacturing, distribution, retail, services, and other related sectors. They have worked closely with manufacturing companies to develop award-winning solutions to the common problem of uniting ERP and Lean. Stay tuned after the webinar as we will continue and hear from Brent Wava. Brent will be giving his presentation from Lean Frontiers Direct that we were unable to listen to yesterday. Please note that this session will be recorded if you want to refer back to it later. So for now, we'll get things started with Wayne. Thank you, Jacqueline. So today we're going to go through some of the tools that Dynamics and Microsoft bring to the table around sales and how you can enable lean inside of those sales. So my name is Wayne Walton and I am the North American practice leader and practice lead for EBEX and this is my contact information. We'll make sure these slides are distributed so you have all that. Sadly, I don't have a webcam, so you're just going to have to uh, take advantage of my LinkedIn photo there to remember who I am. So we're going to go over four quick points. The first off is just, you know, who is EBEX? And if any of you are not familiar with Dynamics, we'll explain what that is as a tool. Then we'll go over some of the tools that Dynamics brings to the table for lean sales. Then look at actual process support and rapid revisions of such and how that actually makes sense with lean. And then we're looking at the future. Uh, what does automation look like? What, how does AI, AI come into sales? And what does that future look? So first off, just a little bit about eBex. We are a company largely based in the UK, but we do have a global presence. We're focused on total solutions for dynamics around the business, both for operations and sales. We have a major presence in manufacturing, especially lean manufacturing. In fact, the manufacturing module for Dynamics AX was built by eBex. We created it back in 2003 for AX version 3, and then it was purchased for ABEX, uh, for purchased by Microsoft for AX 2009 and integrated into the product. And since then, of course, we have built our own accelerator to continue to enhance the lean tools inside of AX that, of course, we know very well. So, and just a little bit more about us, you know, we. We very much focus on the customer success. That's our big thing. We're deep into lean, as you've well seen there before, and we very believe we believe in the strategic partnership roles with our clients. So that's a little bit about us, and of course, that's not very deep at all. But hopefully, it gives you an idea of who we are and why we're even on the call. And a little bit about Dynamics 365. So this is Microsoft's tool for line of business software. If you've heard of CRM or AX, the, this is the next generation of those tools. It combines your sales and your operations, field service, customer service, project service, and even marketing into one platform that can be used uh, synchronously across all of your business and also supports Office and Power BI and Cortana. So this is what we're going to be looking at specifically just at the sales module itself there in the middle and how we can use our, the lean principles we've discussed over the past couple days inside of dynamic CRM sales. So there are a few tools that I'm going to focus on here within the CRM system. Now CRM as a whole, I am sure that all of you are aware is basically considered in many ways a glorified Rolodex. It's a place to store your contacts to your customers so you can sell against them. Maybe you're doing some opportunity management in it. That's really the beginning and end of where the thought process goes for uh, CRM and sales automation. But there are tools inside of the Dynamics platform that help bring a lot more uh, lean functionality to sales. The first of which is the voice of the customer. You know, we heard a little bit about that yesterday, but basically inside of our Dynamics 365, we now have the ability to build surveys on the fly that allow us as a sales team or even as a marketing research team to discuss many deep things with our clients. And we'll actually take a little demo and take a little look at that in a minute here. Then we also have customer insights. 
This is a data enhancement tool that allows you to get good information about your customers to make sure that you've got the best information you could possibly have that's publicly available. So if people are coming on board, if they have executive changes, if they've got strategic changes that have happened in the marketplace that you may not know of, the Customer Insights tool allows you to get that information quickly, which allows you to you know, make sure that you know exactly what's going on in your customer, which of course is how you support your customer in their journey. Then we have the social engagement tool. That is kind of the flip side of the voice of the customer tool. So if the voice of the customer is something you'd focus on if you have a very low transaction, high relationship kind of engagement with your customers, social engagement tends to be more towards your high volume, low engagement, maybe business to customer kinds of sales. So it would be excellent if you were like the Coca-Colas of the world where you need to know how people are tracking your sentiments and how do you do outreach on a large scale. So they're great tools that rather complement each other depending on the focus of your business. Then we also have the customer portals. So these days a lot of sales is actually driven by the customer seeking information. The customer portals inside of CRM allow you to actually surface your sales and marketing collateral, your information, how you actually can show the customers what they want to know without having to do any extra work on your end. That gets surfaced to them so they can do their self-driving information. And of course, then that can reach into the CRM itself so you can see who's doing what on your side. And the last part is, of course, is how do we actually learn what's going on? The dashboarding and the ability to do BI inside of CRM is absolutely critical to a lean journey. Without being able to pull data, look at data, and find actionable intelligence on data, there's no way to improve and to you know, continuously improve, which of course is a key point of lean. Well, one thing I do want to note before we get into this is I haven't mentioned what Dynamics 365 isn't. So, you know, we've said it, it, what it is, but one big thing that it isn't, it is, is not a magical tool. It is not something that's going to help you fix your business, but it can help you illuminate what's wrong with your business. So if you have a business process that you wish to automate in a sales tool, and this is true for any sales tool, honestly, that you want to automate in a sales tool, it's only going to make a bad process faster if you haven't actually gotten down and validated your processes. So everything I'm showing you here is all about making sure that you're validating your processes, that you're getting real data from real customers or from at least your system so you know what's going on. So that's a real key point to note here is none of this is magic. You still have to do the work, but this helps you get to the work faster and get you to the real data faster. So before we go into the system, I just want to show a few quick slides. This is the social engagement slide. So we see here we actually have so, uh, sentiment tracking. So due to machine learning and machine learning that uh, Microsoft does in the Azure platform, it can actually tell you whether or not the buzz in the marketplace around your product is positive, negative, and neutral. And you can even go so far as to start doing things like automatically build opportunities against people who have talked very um, highly of your product or even do case management. So if you have people who are complaining in the marketplace, you can proactively reach out to them and make sure that you're making the best experience for your customer possible. And again, this is real data that's being brought in so you know exactly how your customers are reacting to your product. And the customer portal, here's an example of our customer portal. So here we see we've just surfaced up what our events are, what news are, what kind of blogs we've got going on, a way to contact us if they need help. So all of this is surfaced basic, directly from CRM with the data that we're bringing to the table. That way we can allow our customers to start their own journey and be prepared with what they want to do before they even bring us to the table. So again, we're making sure that they get the data they need and we're over serving them on every level that we care about, but we're doing it the way they want to. So now I'm going to go into the system a little bit and just show some of the other tools that we were talking about there. So if you haven't seen uh, Dynamics 365 before, this top navigation ribbon is where all of this information I just talked about live. And you can see we can actually work inside of the tool for all of these pieces. So in here we have voice of the customer, and we can look at our surveys. So I've got one survey in here that I've built out for this example.
and I don't want to dig too much into the forms here since we have limited time, but I do want to show that this is all workable directly from inside the tool. I don't have to go anywhere else to build these surveys to do the work that I want to. I can do it all from right here. I'm going to go ahead and preview this survey so we can actually see what I built inside, uh, inside of Dynamics 365. Now it's not the prettiest tool, it's not the prettiest survey ever since I just built it for this demo, but it'll give you an idea of what we can do. So right here, I've got my introduction, then I have my questions, and these are all drag and drop built inside of Dynamics 365. I did not write code, I didn't have to do anything but turn on the ability for me to create questions. And this then gets captured back into Dynamics 365 against the customer that you're talking with. So as you're going through this process, you make sure that you're capturing real and true information. Now, you can use this just as like an email reach out to somebody, but I actually personally prefer using this as a tool where you're sitting side by side with the customer as a salesperson. So that way I, as a salesperson, can capture the real information I care about, but I also know how to dig into these questions a little bit more. Because a question you ask to a customer from a website probably is going to get a pretty shallow single sentence response. But when you're just sitting there and interacting, you can really start digging into what are those problems that they have, as is the first question I have. So, and you see here, in fact, I even made these somewhat relevant to our conversation. You know, do you see value in using a sales support tool like Dynamics to help you achieve these goals? So all of this was done within the tool, gets stored in the tool, and gives you real data from your customers to help ensure that you're serving them like they need to be served. So again, that's that whole making sure that we're getting the real data that you need. So beyond that, let's go back. Figures it would restart. There. So the next area I wanted to show was actual process support and how we can rapidly revise all this. So CRM has something called the process ribbon inside of its sales tools. Let me go to an opportunity here so we can take a look at that. And this process ribbon at the top is basically how you can decide how you're supporting your customer journey and what steps need to happen to make sure they're maturing along that journey. So here we have some very basic steps, qualify, develop, propose, and close. And these ribbons all contain actionable items that we need to ca either gather from our client or make sure that our client is aware of or actions we need our client to take to make sure that they're actually ready for that next step. And we can fill them out, mark them as complete, or do whatever we need to to continue to mature this process. Now, this is a very useful tool if you really know what your sales process is or even if you just think you know what your sales process is. And the reason why I say if you just think you know what your sales process is, it's because you can use this ribbon to do things like A-B testing. So if you need to actually test whether or not a given sales process you think works better or worse than one before, you can actually run multiple processes within this opportunity. So if you are... Let's say you're on your second step of your lean journey. You've already gone through process revision once. You've got your key actions you think are critical. You've got actually a first set of standard work that you're ready for your sales team to really work on. Now, of course, there's still the adoption we need to get to, but if you're not 100% sure that well, your standard work is correct, you can still keep your old process around and then have certain teams do certain processes. So that kind of the ability to make to uh, do real data-driven A-B testing against your opportunities is key to making sure you're really improving and honing the wheel. So, and these processes are not set in stone in any way either. If you find that there is a real improvement that needs to be made quickly to a process, you found data in here that says this is definitely a gap, just by clicking the edit button, assuming you have permission to do so, you can come in here and change what you need to very quickly and easily with drag and drop functionality around this process ribbon. So small changes can be done over the courses of mere minutes and pushed back to your sales team to make sure that they are live and ready with these tools. And that's the advantage of having this kind of process, rapid process capability, is you're never hung up on a single process that doesn't work. 
as long as you're keeping on top of what does and does not work, you always can revise and you can do it very quickly. And to that point, to ensure that you actually are getting good data out of here, I would like to show both the dashboards inside of a Dynamics 365, but also a tool that we have brought, EVEX has built, around, um, around improving your data. So what we've cut, built is a tool called Process Step Times. And this is going to start giving you some idea of where the bottlenecks are in your steps. Where are people falling out? So when you have an opportunity and you need to keep it moving, one of the big potential problems is you're getting hung up somewhere. So with this process step time accelerator that we've built, this gives you the ability to drill down on the data to see where things are dying off. And also to see whether or not there are specific opportunities out there that have unusually high wait times in certain steps. So if you are able to track over the course of the next six months that, let's say, your qualify step is an average of 30 hours before it's completed, but you see one out there that's you know, at 200 hours, that suddenly gives you real data to go drill down into and see why does that opportunity fail or what's going on there. So this is a way to make sure that you have your, again, your real data so you can continue to lean out the problems in your process. And let me go to the dashboards. Let's not go to that dashboard. All right, well, I don't know what's going on with the dashboards there, so we will just continue on and actually show the Power BI dashboard instead. So one of the big pieces of information here that's relevant, again, is how do you get to your data when you want to improve your processes? Without knowing what the data is, you don't have any way to review what's working, what isn't. So Microsoft has natively to its Power BI business intelligence tool the ability to show you your dynamic CRM data and what's going on in here. So this dashboard here has a whole lot going on, but it's a whole lot that's going on that could be relevant to you. So if you want to know what your one revenue is for the year, by quarter, you know, what is your win rate, uh, where geographically are things happening, uh, where are, you know, when are things being won, uh, what are your opportunities, all of the kinds of information that you would need to know to drill down and see how you are winning, all is right here. And the nice thing about this is you have the ability to ask questions of your data, too. Helps if I type correctly. But well, we won't wait on that. So actually, it looks like we're relatively ahead of schedule. That's excellent. So maybe we'll have time for some questions towards the end. And let's get back to the slideshow without resetting again. So one of the big forward-thinking pieces that Microsoft is bringing to the table is actually mentioned yesterday in the uh, conversation after, in the QA afterwards. And that was, what does AI look like? What does the future of sales look like? And what does that actually mean? Well, Microsoft's bringing quite a few things to the table there that are going to help. And a lot of it's based around decision support and how do you make better decisions with the data and how can Microsoft and Dynamics 365 help those decisions be made more effectively. So one of the tools they're bringing to the table is an improvement to their customer insights suite, which really drills down into individual customers and gives you a nice detailed view on how they're interacting with you based on the data you have and also based on the data available in the marketplace. So then they also have what's called intelligent upsell and intelligent cross-sell. This is using the Azure machine learning tools inside of CRM to start understanding what products you sell that also have upsell and cross-sell capabilities with other products. So most CRMs have the ability to do manual mappings of upsell and cross-sell. So you know that, hey, if you sell widget A, you also probably want addendum B to go with it. But with intelligent cross-sell and upsell, you don't have to manually map all that out. 
Dynamics will actually learn what the best upsell and cross-sell options are as you use the tools. So that's one of those nice decision support pieces where real data is improving how you sell to your customers and what they actually want. So instead of guessing, it, the data is going to tell you. Related to that, they have what is called intelligent document suggestions. So that's the capability of actually, if you were to build an opportunity with a client and you know that there is a previous proposal with that client and it's attached in CRM, CRM knows that too and can say, by the way, here's a proposal you had already. Do you want to just start with a copy of this and work from there? So that's mostly time-saving kinds of thing, but it's also the intelligence kind of suggestions that we would want to make sure that our sales team isn't having to do and manually do all that work. So that's more of the efficiency than it is the efficacy side of things, but still very important to make sure that you're quickly getting to the information you want. So in fact, I'll just go ahead and show these as I'm talking about them. So here's that enhanced, enhanced customer insights view. So we see you know, what's their sales that we've done with them. We can see how engaged they are based on that social engagement profile that we've got, that we discussed before. You know, what channels are we actually working with them on? What recent interactions have we had with them? It gives you a good idea of where you live with them. And one of the things that's coming through with this is the ability for CRM to tell you whether or not you're interacting with your customers at a rate they want to interact with you at. So as you, again, as you build data into the system, this is going to start telling you, you haven't interacted with this person in a month. That's generally bad. Why don't you call them? So that kind of engagement support and the ability to make intelligent decisions on when you need to interact with your customers is going to be very important. So then this is that in recommendation model around intelligence, around the intelligent cross-sell and upsell. That's a pretty systemic form, so I won't focus too much on it since we discussed it. But here's where we can talk about those recommended documents. So again, anything that's related to that customer that might be relevant to a proposal, like previous proposals or quotes, you can grab here, take a look, attach them to your current work all very quickly and all for mobile if you like too. Then we also have Cortana integration. So if any of you have ever used any of the smart agents, such as Google Now, Siri, or Cortana, then you know they're pretty darn useful, especially when you be reminded of stuff. Well, with the Cortana integration, you get a lot more than just your regular notifications. Now you can start getting stuff like, okay, who are the key people I'm meeting with? You know, what does CRM know about these people? What does the internet know about these people? Uh, when I'm traveling to a certain location, are there, do I have any customers out there that maybe I should read out, reach out to that aren't on my agenda? So that's all capable from within Cortana or will be capable within Cortana within the next release of uh, Dynamics 365. And of course, since Cortana is cross-platform, you get this on any smartphone you like. So actually, I'll pause there for a second. One other key point to there is that's a big investment Microsoft is making around Cortana and the machine learning and all of that is that's where they're going with how they want to support sales and basically how they want to support lean. So we've all you know, discussed how good data is going to provide good decision-making support, and that's what uh, Microsoft is dr uh, diving towards. So they want to make sure that they can give you the best data possible and, if po when possible, start giving you decision-making tools around that as well. So your machine learning can actually drill down into your data and suggest what kinds of improvements will happen. Now, clearly, that's a long road ahead, but that is the, the road that we're all pointing towards right now. So before we finish up here, I uh, was wondering if we had the ability to add, do any Q&A. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, we do have the ability uh, to do Q&A. For those of you listening right now, uh, you'll have a GoToWebinar web panel, and there should be a question section. If you hit the plus sign on the left-hand side, it'll expand that section, and you can type your question in there, and we can start taking questions that way. And we'll just give it a minute and see if we have anything that comes in. So feel free to start typing away. 
And while we're waiting, I'll just pull up the opportunity list here that shows you some of the visualizations you can do to make sure, again, that you're getting data-driven decisions around what you actually have in your pipeline. And one thing to note, too, is since all of this data is live, you can actually drill in on the fly to actually work in any specific area you want. And I actually like using this when we're doing our sales meetings and our stand-ups. Very quickly, just go through and focus on anything that's outstanding so we can see where we are, why this area, that this one thing that isn't closed, why hasn't it actually closed yet. All very close to the data, all very quickly actionable, straight from being in the system. All right, well, it looks like we have not had any questions come in, um, but Wayne, would you like to flash up your contact information again in case someone thinks of one and wants to reach out to you? Absolutely. So, yeah, and what I showed right here is a very, very high-level, lightweight, just here are the touch points inside of Dynamics 365 that can help bring data-driven analysis and lean to your business. So if anybody wants a much more in-depth review with their specific business needs, I'd be happy to do so. Um, so. Yeah, when you look at your own real data and you see how you can actually pull out real insight from there just by getting it loaded and worked on, that is a way more illust you know, illustrative view than just looking at some you know, demonstration data I have set up. All right. Well, um, Wayne, is there anything else you'd like to say before we move on? Uh, no, I appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you all again. Great.